Hello YouTube. Welcome to the first video from the e-innovators. This video is going to be a beginner's tutorial for Arduino microcontroller. We are going to conduct step-by-step -step lessons explaining how to interact with different sensors using Arduino. Before getting into the actual video, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do it to motivate the content creator and to be updated with the similar release as soon as possible. So guys, before moving towards the Arduino series, let's learn about some differences between microcontrollers and microprocessors. The microprocessor is the general purpose computer means that can perform multiple tasks at the same time like gaming, web browsing and all the stuff that you can do on simple computers. Microcontrollers are designed to perform specific tasks. With the help of the input given by the sensor, they do processing and give the output. For example, microcontroller is used as digital cameras and washing machine etc. In digital camera when the flash is pressed, input will go to the microcontroller and capture the image. and on the output we will get a picture on the screen in washing machines for example timer to wash the clothes is 1 minute then after 1 minute is completed the input will get high and the washing machine will automatically stop in brief microcontroller can do specific tasks with the help of programming arduino is available in many types like arduino uno arduino nano arduino lily pad arduino pro mini arduino mega and etc and we are using arduino uno in this course now let's discuss arduino uno on the top right is the usb jack used to flash the program into the arduino on the top left is the dc jack by help of this you can power up your arduino be careful you can give the voltage around 17 to 18 volts voltage above this can harm the arduino this is the main ic 80 mega 328p there are 14 digital pins from 0 to 13 and 6 analog pins from a0 to a5 difference between them is analog input can take any numbers of values unlike the digital which can only take from zeros to ones by changing model of arduino board analog and digital pin vary like mega board have more digital and analog pins as compared to uno there is a 5 volt and 3.3 volt supply to power up the sensors after that there is a reset pin which basically is used to reboot the system or to reset the program and to top it all there is one button which is also used to reset the pin after that there is a ground pin to provide the ground to the sensor furthermore there is vin which is also used to power up the arduino so that's it for today in the future videos we'll be going in complete detail about different components of arduino and how they interact with different sensors individually moreover we'll be demonstrating practical scenarios explaining the use of arduino If you like the video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe the channel to watch the future videos as soon as we upload so see you guys in the next video peace out